YouTube, we're back and it is barnyard brawl season. We are headed to Asheville Barn Cross Victory Sports Indoor for A1. And I am not talking about Anaheim, I'm talking Asheville 1. I think we go here like four times, so this is known as A1. Should be pretty fun. We're running as late as can be, per usual. Be weird if I got there on time, but probably gonna barely make practice, but not a problem. We'll be ready to get after it, no choice solo trip this time no co-pilot mechanic or anything so brought the gopro to get some footage for you guys and maybe we'll get lucky with some fan footage as well we've made it a1 tracks looking super technical got ourselves a finish line trip rhythm section we got options we can either go like on off single or over and then double the options are endless Got some sweet whoops ready to smack. It's about go time. Ride of the night right here. I forgot to use the horn, dude. People would get out of my way. <laughs> Censored. 
No choice. Yo, for real though, what is this thing? T dub, T dub beats Honestly. me, beats me in 450 Pro. Hops on this friggin' thing. No close, <laughs> no problem. <laughs>
place. Right by the cops too, hell yeah. Homebound from the Asheville National. Truck still stinks like coolant, which is great news because it means there's still coolant left in it. No choice. Let's go. Now that I'm here filling up with gas, got to give a shout out to Dean Hushin Insulation. They've been a huge part of the program this year and I definitely would not still be going without their help. So huge, huge thank you to Dean Hushin Insulation and I'm really hoping to be working with them for years to come because they kick ass. Thanks, boys. Shout out to the trucker at the front of this line making killer time. We're actually going faster than we've been going, average of about 30 be home by about, I don't know, Wednesday or Thursday at this rate. The journey home from A1 is finally coming to a close. It's Sunday night. I actually stayed the night um, after the race last night in town with a friend of mine, Taylor Futrell. Um, I'm sure any of you guys that followed amateur motocross and even a little bit of pro back in the day, you guys know that that's an absolute legend. Um, so thanks to my boy Taylor for letting me stay with him this weekend. But yeah, not a, not a terrible weekend, but not the best weekend. Uh, two seconds on um, Friday night, and then Saturday I should have, I thought, won everything that day. I won both the heats, and then um, first main I was leading, and then right before the white flag I crashed pretty good in the whoops and ended up getting a third, and then um, was able to get the win in the second main. So... Um, that wasn't too bad, but the starts were off this weekend, which isn't really like me, which was kind of a bummer. Um, got a couple of different parts in the clutch that I think need replacing. Um, it was kind of just uh, just disengaging really quickly. It was kind of acting funny. Um, was kind of jumping out funny and, and making me wheelie. So I'm um, going to go ahead and get that sorted out for the coming weeks. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and regroup and um, next weekend, we got some more arena cross action, and I think we also are going to have some outdoor racing as well on Sunday. So uh, stay tuned. You guys will get the best of both worlds next weekend. But for now, this weekend is a wrap. Turn it into the neighborhood. Catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. And if you guys are into it, please like and subscribe. It would help me out a bunch trying to grow the channel here. Thank you, everybody.